in this example, this is also where two triangle, there's two right angle triangle, but these two triangles are overlapping. So that means right, you will see a small right angle triangle. That means they share the same 90 degree. So there is a small one here. I also got another big one. So the red one is a 90 degree. The blue one is also a 90 degree and they kind of share the same 90 degree. So this is the one that is not 90 degree. So don't get tricked by this. So this green color one is not a 90. So that's not where you can do your Pythagoras theorem. So there are times where some people are tricked by it. So when two right angle triangle are overlapping, please make sure you look at the correct triangle. So in the red triangle, I can find my X. So this is the C, this is the A, and this is the B. So again, because the triangle are labeled, so we will try to use the notation PQ square plus QR square equal to PR square. So for example, PQ is X square, QR is Y square, PR is 13 square. So you can, if you are very confident already, you can bunch and subtract at the same time. And then you take the positive square root. So this is how you got your x. So we're going to be moving on to the blue right angle triangle. So if you find it confusing, I suggest you, you should erase off your marking. Otherwise it can be quite confusing. So in the blue triangle, this is your C. This whole thing, This is your A and then this is your B, okay? So the, the, the value of Y is part of QR. So what you can plan will be, you find QR first and you subtract by five. So let's try doing this. So using Pythagoras theorem in triangle PQ, I think I, I make a different notation. Okay, maybe this one should be a K. Okay, there must be a typo. Okay, so look at the notation. A is actually PQ. B is actually QK. And C is PK. So can I see this one is the A, B, C. So the notation gets you a bit confused. So the fifth, the 12 that we got done will be used. So you gotta ensure that you got no careless mistake in your value of 12, in the value of X. So from here, you can calculate. And then you take the positive square root. Okay, of course, you reject. So you got the whole length to be a 35. So do remember, this is not your answer yet. So this is your 35. So can you see this whole thing adds up to 35? And your job is to find the value of Y. So it will just be a subtraction. So there are times where it 
all these can lead you to a Pythagoras theorem, um, a quadratic equation. So this will be the in the more difficult question. So currently, single triangle, double triangle, these are the basic ones that you need to practice 